Hello guys, in here, uh, previously we did in um, this video day 108, we did a, um, an adaptive a brick arch family. Um, there's no voice in this video and also I found it uh, a little too complicated. So today I'm going to create another one and uh, I'll make it easier. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so please ignore this. Actually, I'll leave it. This this will be uh, tomorrow for tomorrow. Okay, so um, first for so for this family, so we're going to create a new um, family, and it will be adaptive family. adaptive. Okay. Okay, so first place two point one two and actually three points. Okay, so and make them adaptive. So select the first two points, create create a spline and make it reference line. And now set work plan, pick this uh, work plan, DI dimension, and dimension these two adaptive points and create a the parameter let's call it W and make it reporting parameter then so this the point 3 will be used to determine the, the the highest point of this of the arch okay so let's just move it up okay so now um, we just need to set work plan okay so set one of the vertical work plan, so this one, okay, and the R dimension from this point to the reference line, this reference line, okay, and then just select this dimension and drag this point to this adaptive point, okay, so now this dimension is from this point to this point. Now select this dimension and create a parameter. Let's call it H. Instance reporting parameter as well. Okay. So now we need to work out the uh, the arc. Okay. So first I'm going to place a point, draw on face, and place it on this the midpoint of this reference line. Okay. And then another point. Uh, hang on. Um, do we need another point? No, we don't need another point. So now I'm going to just do a screenshot. So uh, I'll do a new one. Okay, so this will be the arc. So start from here, finish at here. So and also if I so from the top, the highest point to roughly here so it's the center of this arc okay so if i connect this to that and also connect this so now we know that this is w right this is h h h is um, from this reference line to here so this is h so this uh, sorry so this is h and w because the overall from this point to this point is w so this will be w divided by 2 which is this one okay so this and if this is radius if this is r so this will be r as well so this will be r so which means this one this one will be r minus h okay so um, i think we this this will be a same uh, same to the in uh, the formula we use in this video so uh, i'll just quickly do it so in we know that in a triangle uh, with a right angle here 90 degrees so this r square equals this one r minus h square plus here w divided by 2 bracket square okay so we know that uh, we just need to work out um, what 
the r is okay so r so r square equals r square minus 2 times r times h minus oh sorry plus h square and plus w square divided by 4 okay so i'll just get rid of the r square so move this to here so it's 2 r h equals h square plus w square divided by 4 so r equals h so h square plus w square divided by 4 so this is r this formula is r so we know this r is and then we uh, we can also work out uh, so this is r um, hang on, let me. So yeah, we can also work out this one. This one is what this one is r. So it's this r minus h. Okay. So now let's go back to the rivet. So now I'm just going to show you. So from this point, so I'll just show you this sketch. So from this point, go down by this will be the center of this arc okay so now i'm going to place one point draw on draw a work plan set work plan and pick the horizontal work plan of this point so tab tab and click okay and then place it on this point okay so now i'll just so it looks like if i drag this up it will be positive so what i'm going to do is select this point rotate it by 180 degrees so this one will go down now the offset the so offset need to be r minus h so which is this one this is r okay minus h so we just need to type in all these okay so um so first oh sorry this one so offset so i'm going to just uh, create a new parameter let's call it offset OFS instance okay and okay so go to family types in OFS we just need to type in this uh, this okay so let me just so bracket it will be um, it will be bracket h square minus a uh, bracket um, w square divided by four bracket and another bracket so let's have a look again another bracket and then divide by two h so divide by bracket two times h okay and then minus h minus h so now this is ah uh, hell it's a negative um i think something's not right here let's have a look again so two r two ah uh, hell r two h minus h h square plus here yeah, plus <laughs> so plus Yep, so now it's positive. Apply and OK. So now we get this is the center of the arc. So now if I create a reference line and I'm going to draw on word plan. Okay, so draw on word plan, set word plan, pick this vertical word plan. So not not this one. Tab this one. Okay, so and then place it. Uh, oh hell, so we need to pick use this one center and arc so click this one set whole plan tab click and then so first place the center point go up start from this point finish at this point and also we need to we need to uh, create a a radius param oh, sorry dimension and also you need to lock this reference line onto this uh, 
point or this reference plan, uh, reference line. So we just need to you just need to drag this and lock. And also here, drag and lock. So now we need to give. So this is R. We need to create a radius parameter and um, instance. Okay. So go back to family types. We need to put this this so this is r we just need to put this one into that so which is this one we already did this okay control c control v and apply and okay so now you will see if i drag this point up you will see this arc will change accordingly okay and also if I move this point to increase the W, you will see. Okay, so that's it. That's the shape of this uh, arc. So the next step we need to uh, uh, let me just hang on, let me just reduce the size. So when we later we will create all the the bricks, it will be uh, less number. So okay, so maybe like this. Okay. So now we just need to so select this reference line, divide path. Okay. So here we have a few options. So count is a uh, core length. We just need to work out. So what? Oh sorry. Current sorry. Currently is fixed number. We need to change this to a uh, for example fixed distance. Let's figure out. Here we have a few options. So core length and segment length. So let's find out what the difference is. So I'll change this to one meter for now. So and also I'll create a reference line, spline through points. I'll and I'll just oh sorry, use uh, draw on face and I'll draw a, sp a spline between two of the 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 nodes. Okay, and I select this line. So it tells me the length of this uh, the line is one meter. So if I change, if I use the core length, it's this is this, this distance. Okay. So if I use the segment length, so and then if I select this uh, reference line, it's it's uh, shorter than one meter, which means it's uh, the the length of this arc. Okay. So in this case. Um, I think we are going to use cord length. Okay, so we are going to place a brick using these this cord length. Okay, so now we just need to create a new um, adaptive family. So here, adaptive family. So in this family, place one point, make it adaptive. Now we are going to place um, a, some reference line. Okay, so reference line, rectangle, draw on word plan, set. So I'm actually I'm not sure which one, which face I need to draw. So I'll just uh, maybe pick this one. Okay, so I'll pick this one, and then I'll draw a shape like this. So um, I think I'm going to use depending on the size of a brick so um, maybe I'll make it um, let me think what's the size of the brick I'm going to use I'll just use 100 by 200 for example so 100 and 200 okay uh, maybe 250 240 something like that and then I'll just move this to the center okay center and then um, maybe I'll just create a form and make it solid but I'm just going to make it very thin so it's maybe 10 mil so this will be placed um, uh, onto a wall and just for render for render purpose okay so now let's try load this into the uh, hell, which one family 3 yep so load this into family 3 and see what happens if I place it. Uh, it looks like it's it's okay but in the wrong direction so um, I think 
Can we flip it? No. It's okay, just let's edit family. So instead of I'll just hide let, let me just hide the solid. So we just need to move this to this here. Okay. So now let's load this back into here and okay. So okay, so now it's being placed here. So um, because this this uh I made I made this 100 mil. So what I'm going to do is select this divided part, divided part. So in here I'll change this to 100. So now where's my brick? Oh here. So if I select this brick and click on repeat, so that's it. And just we just need to have a look of so the gap. So currently is quite okay. And let me just um, reduce the, the size of this arc and uh, see what happens yeah i think it's still okay so there are some options here so if you select this divided path so i'll just try to hide some of the brick okay so if you select this one um you will see there are some options so justification so you can create from center so in the brick will start from center or you can um, um, hell, what's the so the fix instead of fix, fix distance you can also use minimum or maximum so just have a play of all these settings and I think I think it's it's okay this it, it should be good enough so so for you can use this for you know create quick create a quick um, uh, let let's have a let's have, have a test actually so if I create a project and uh, so I'll draw a wall okay so draw a wall and I'll add profile and I'll just quickly add a, a opening to this wall using uh, edit using so I'll just make something like this okay so finish so this is a wall with an opening and a an arch so now let's go get the family where is it here so load this into the project so okay so one two and pick the this one three okay that's that's okay just edit family so there is an option okay so always vertical option so check this one and load this back into the project and that's it ah hell looks like uh, uh, maybe I think I would so because see, see these two points it's not it's not correct so I'll just uh, redo it so see uh, I'll just delete it let's create a new one so just make sure you pick the point ah this one so then uh, where is it this one and then this one okay so that's it and also if you want to uh, hide the those nodes you can just select this divided surface go here uncheck this one load back into the project and that's it okay okay that's it um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time bye